Hey, my name is Rustin with Fine Pigtails, and uh, today we are going to do a, a video on a D-pin and repin of a connector. All right, so what we're going to do uh, is going to be a D-pin and repin of uh, one of our popular connectors. This is part number R62C8. Uh, this is actually going to be very familiar. This is a blind spot module connector for uh, Nissan's, Nissan Rogue, Altima, a lot of those. So there's rear modules that are on the left and right side. They get hit a lot. Uh, this is the connector that connects those. Um, it's also some Chevys for mass airflow, things like that. So it's used on a pretty wide array of vehicles. Um, I'm going to actually deep pin this one upside down just because it's a little bit easier to uh, orient and get to everything. It does have, if you can see that white lock down in there, that is the secondary lock that makes sure that those pins do not back out. So the first thing we need to do is get it pulled up and off of the pins. So there's a little indentation I can get down in. I'm gonna just lift it up here. Let me just look at it so we're good. It's up right there, you hear it click. And the catches on these are actually right at the end, so it's pretty simple. Take a small screwdriver or a pick and just kind of reach in, get that catch, pull it up. And then these pins, the catches are easy, but sometimes the pins are a little tight. But you just pull that release, pull your, slide your pin right out. So we'll do another one here. So just right at the end, screwdriver, catch that release, pull it up, pull your pin back at the same time, and release. And of course we can do uh, one more just to kind of show you here. So we're going to lift that release up, get it off the pin. With the other hand you're sliding that pin backwards. And you can see it's kind of a tight area that they're fitting in. And there is a specific there's a little notch on this connector. Some different connectors will have this um, in that on the pin. It has, it's probably hard to see, but it has a little little bump there. That's a little guide. So that pin can only go in one way and our little notches to the side. So I'll make sure that our guide is oriented correctly. Slide this in. And this connector, as you notice, there's no seals on the pins. Um, these, the seals are built into the connector. Uh, very common on a lot of Molex connectors. So here we'll go on ahead, same deal, slide this pin in. I'm actually going to push it in until it clicks. And uh, there we go. Same deal on our last one. Slide it in, right in through the front, and it locks in position. Once we've got all your pins reinstalled, you can kind of do a little pull check on those wires. Um, I visually will check the pins just to make sure they're all up to the front and the latches, all the catches are all holding. Once you know everything's good, you can push your lock down, make sure it's secure, look at your gap through the front on that latch, and uh, once everything's good, you're ready to rock.